Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First off, a lot of thanks is in order. I am officially at over 3,000 subscribers and I'm also officially monetized. And those are both super duper big milestones and it's all because of every single one of you. And so I just wanted to say thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Like every single one of you, you make such a difference and it literally means the world to me. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And now let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to steal your competitors keywords on Amazon. So this can apply honestly to more than just low content books. Like no matter what you sell on Amazon, this strategy will work. And it's because of one simple tool that's literally amazing and it does so, so much. And if you haven't heard of it before, or even if you have, it's called Helium 10. So I'll be showing you how to steal your competitor's keywords with Helium 10. And it's honestly super duper easy. And I've been doing it a lot lately and I use Helium 10 for my keyword research for my niche research kind of tongue twister. I use it for so many different things when it comes to creating and selling low content books. And now I'm gonna show you. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, now here we are in the lovely world of Amazon. And I'm just gonna start by typing in whatever niche I want to research. So in this case, I'm gonna type in unicorn composition notebook because that's kind of my go-to if you couldn't tell. And so now it pulls up a bunch of, you guessed it, unicorn composition notebooks. And now that it's done that, what I wanna do is pop over to my Chrome extensions and then we've got Helium 10. So let me quickly tell you, Helium 10 has a free version and they also have a pro version. I definitely recommend the free version if you are not familiar with Helium 10 yet and just kinda wanna get a feel for it. Um, but the pro version is an excellent choice for all KDPers, for all Amazon sellers who wanna take their selling game to the next level. Um, and I also have two coupon codes that you can use to upgrade your subscription. There's a Sarah Larson 50, which is a great choice if you want to get a feel for Helium 10 before really committing, because that'll give you 50% off for your first month. So that's a great way to get a feel for the full version. And then I also have Sarah Larson 10, which is 10% off for every month. You'll find a link down in the description if you wanna go check it out. So now that you've gotten a little feel for it, I'm now gonna click on Helium 10 right here. And we've got a couple different options, but what we want is X-ray. And when we pull up X-ray, it's gonna pull up all the information for all of the different unicorn composition notebooks that popped up. So we've got here, we've got the product details, we've got the ASIN, we've got the brand, price, sales, sales graph, revenue, and then we get into some other information that is a little bit less important. And if we hover over the ASIN, you can also get a bigger look of the book. <laughs> that rhymed. You can get a bigger look of it so that you know exactly like which ones are which because it's kind of hard to see because it's really tiny over here. One of the key pieces of info I like to look at is the sales and sales graph. As you can see, like these three books that have been doing incredibly well have kind of plateaued and a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's no longer back to school season. So that's really and a really important thing to pay attention to. We also have the sales. This is just an estimate. Uh, Helium 10 doesn't know the exact sales, but given the sales graph and the BSR ranks, it can give a little estimate here. So I'm gonna start by choosing the ones that I want to examine. I'm gonna go with these ones because they have high sales. You can also click this if you want to rank it by how many sales. So we've got the least and then we've got the most. But however, one thing to note is when you do click this and it brings up the most, it'll also bring up some that are less relevant that are further down the line. So this one's number 42. And as you can see, it's a mermaid book, which isn't really the niche we're going for. So I like to just go by whatever's at the top of the search results and is getting the most sales. So if I keep going, this is another good one. It's got a lot of sales. This one's got 682, that's a good one. You could keep going and find a couple more if you want. Like I could click on this one. So now I've got six selected. Oh, also I'm pretty sure you can have up to 10 selected at a time, just a note. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna click on run keyword search. And when I do that, it's gonna pull it up in Cerebro, which is Helium 10's tool that can do this fancy reverse ASIN lookup. 
and it'll just pull up all of the different keywords that all of these books are ranking for. Alrighty, so now it's pulled up all the different keywords. If we scroll down, it'll give us all of them and it gives us a lot of different information for them as well. And you also find a bunch of random keywords that you might not have thought of as well. And also some that aren't as relevant. Uh, let's see, like we've got kindergarten notebook, blank handwriting notebook, and if we look, we have 7,141 keywords, which is a ton. And I don't know about you, but I don't have the time to sift through and look at all 7,100 of these keywords, which is why Cerebrew has all these fancy filters that we can use to find the keywords that are the best. So you can go by search volume, which is how many times the keywords are searched for each month, Cerebro IQ score, which is a little equation that Cerebro does given the search volume, as well as the competing products to tell you just how good of a keyword it is. So the higher the IQ score, then the better keyword it is because there's less competition and a higher search volume. So example, this one is a pretty good one. I won't go into all of these, but you can hover over the question mark and it'll give you a little bit of a better explanation. We've also got match type, Amazon choice. Amazon choice is a good one to see the ones that Amazon recommends. Um, there are also more advanced filters, but let's not get into all that because that starts to get a little bit complicated. The filters that I like to use, I love Cerebro IQ score. I'll do a minimum of 500. So that'll be getting me some of the best keywords and now I'll apply it. And then another thing I'll do, so it sorts by default, but I'm gonna start sorting by IQ score high to low so I can get the biggest, best ones first. So now we have 780 keywords, a lot better, and it's sorted by the ones that are the best, which is going to make it a lot quicker to look through. But starting out, so we've got Donor Boy, a novel, Handwriting Without Tears, these are some pretty big crazy ones that are not really relevant so we might have to change the sort by over here but we've got primary composition notebook this is a really good one for some wow i'm surprised there's so few competing products this means that there are less than 1,000 competing products and we've got a search volume of 25,159 which is insane and that brings us to an iq score of 25,159 so this is a really great keyword to target and we keep going kids rule unicorn sheets i'm guessing that's a brand composition notebooks this is a misspelled keyword but believe it or not like these are some of the best keywords to target because people aren't going to be using them to compete however there are lots of people that search for them because you know we all make typos here and there so that's one that's good I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to the default sorting just so I can see the most relevant ones. So we've got Unicorn Notebook, 611. That one's a nice simple one. That's a good one. Libreta Unicornio. I know a little bit of Spanish. I'm not the best. Um, I'm guessing means Unicorn Notebook. So this is Spanish. Um, fun fact, something I've heard, the keywords that are in different languages are some of the best keywords because, you know, English speakers aren't really going to be using them because they don't necessarily think to. But believe it or not, a lot of these keywords are searched because there are a lot of Spanish speakers. So this is a really, really great keyword to target that not as many people are going to be going after. Composition Notebooks Primary, that's a good one. Compensation Notebook, I'm guessing that's a bit of a typo. Cuadernos para niñas, something for girls. I'm not fully positive. So we've got a bunch here. Another thing I'm gonna do to narrow it down even further is I'm gonna go over to the word frequency. I'm gonna click on unicorn. So that'll give me everything that has the word unicorn in it. So that can narrow it down even further. So we've got unicorn notebook. That's a really good one. Kids rule unicorn sheets. I'm guessing that's a brand. We can't really use that as much. Unicorn printing paper. Interesting. Unicorn diary six. Unicorn. Okay, these are all books. Unicorn tracing book. That's interesting. We've got unicorn book for kids three to five. Unicorn notebook. So we've got a whole bunch of different keywords in here. I'm gonna take this IQ score down to 300 so I can see more that are a bit more specifically related. So I've got unicorn composition notebook, 438. That's pretty good. We've seen unicorn notebook, unicorn notebooks pack. Can't really use that. 
Um, and then we get into a couple others. So it does take a little bit of digging, but there are a lot of really great keywords in here that you can use. And another thing you can do, Amazon recommended is a really good one to see the ones that Amazon recommends because Amazon doesn't necessarily always tell you what the best things are. So if you, Amazon recommends them, then that's good enough for me. So Unicorn Composition Notebook's a good one. Unicorn Diary, Unicorn Gold. I'm not really sure what that is. If we click it, by the way, it'll bring up uh, like the search. So Unicorn Gold, yeah, the, oh, oh, okay. So cute little, the these things, yeah. Anyway, we can't really create that unless you're an Amazon seller that does more than books, which more power to you. So basically, yeah, there are a ton of ways to search through all these keywords, and we've come up with a couple. Unicorn Notebook's a good one. Unicorn Composition Notebook's another good one. Primary Composition Notebook, a bunch of different really great keywords, and also Spanish keywords, misspelled keywords. There are a whole bunch, and it does require a little bit of digging, but once you find them, then you're good. And one thing you can do that I love to do is you can highlight these. So when you find keywords that you really like, and then you can press over here and add keywords to your list. So I've got a couple different lists here. Um, I'm working on creating more. And then you can just add as many lists as you'd like. And you can just add all your different keywords. So then you can have a full list of all the best keywords for the niche that you are targeting. Okay, I'm gonna give you another quick little tip. Um, so here is the sidebar for Helium 10. We've got a lot of different things that we can use to expand our whole Amazon selling and everything. Um, product research, listing optimization, analytics, you, you get the gist. Keyword research is one of my favorites. Another good one, um, listing optimization, that's a good one. Product research, this is a fun one, so you can save your favorite product ideas. Listing optimization, I already clicked on that, don't mind me. Analytics, uh, keyword tracker, that's a great one. So I especially love Helium 10 for the keywords, but there are so many different things you can use with it. I'm gonna show you one other quick way that you can find some really great keywords. So I already have a basic idea of some good keywords that I can use. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over here and type in Unicorn Composition Notebook. Um, and now I'm gonna press get keywords. So this is almost like Cerebro in a way, but this is more like just keyword research as opposed to reverse lookup. This is more of a standard lookup. Okay, so now we've got all the keywords down here. And as you'll see, we've got a bunch of random ones like cool school notebook with a magnet IQ score of three. Doesn't sound all that great. And so now to narrow this down, we're again wanna, get, wanna use filters. That came out sounding weird. Um, I'm gonna go with a magnet IQ score of 500. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I want smart complete. Organic is gonna bring up all these random ones that are related to it, but not specifically related to it. Amazon recommended, also a good one. But I'm gonna go with smart complete. I can also combine them if I want Amazon recommended as well. I'm just gonna use smart complete. Okay, and now I'm gonna press apply and that'll bring up nothing. Let's get rid of the magnet IQ score. All right, so this brings up a couple. So it's gonna do, with Smart Complete, it's not gonna bring up as many just because I typed in three. I could also just type in Unicorn Notebook and see what comes up there. I might do that in just a moment. Um, so I've got Unicorn Composition Notebooks that has a magnetized Q score of 438. So that is honestly the best keyword that I would use. But if I wanna try and find more that are more closely related, I'm just gonna type in Unicorn Notebook. All right, so I've searched up Unicorn Notebook. I've done Smart Complete and here's what comes up. Unicorn Spiral Notebook, can't really create that. So one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort by Magnet Ice Q score. I'm gonna go from high to low. And because it's under Smart Complete, we're gonna get some of the best related ones. We can't do anything about this guy. Uh, unicorn Notebook, so we already know that's a really good one. Unicorn Composition Notebook, also a good one. Notebook Unicorn Hardcover, so that's interesting. This is uh, another really good one, and Amazon just started doing hardcover books that you can create through KDP, fun fact. So this is totally one you could go for. Unicorn Notebook for Girls, that one's also kind of good. That one gets a high enough search volume. It does have a lot of competing products though, because we are getting it starting to get into the lower ones, so I'd recommend you could also use these keywords, but you might not want to use them as your main keywords. But we've got a whole bunch of different phrases that we can use. Granted, the IQ score is pretty darn low, so it 
will be harder to rank for these, but these are all still good keyword ideas and there's a lot that you can learn from it. So anyway, that about wraps it up. I've shown you how to use Cerebro. I've shown you how to use Magnet. Both of these are excellent tools for doing keyword research. And I'd especially recommend Cerebro for finding the keywords that your competitors are ranking for, because there are honestly a ton of different keywords and it opens your world up to a bunch of new options that maybe you hadn't thought of before. So I hope that helps you. And again, coupon codes for Helium 10. I've got Sarah Larson 50 for 50% off your first month and Sarah Larson 10 for 10% off every month. So if you want to give it a go, I'd highly recommend it, especially for taking your KDP game to the next level. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe for more videos like this. If you could like my video, comment down below any questions you might have, anything that you want to add. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.